Fetal alcohol spectrum disorders is a term that encompasses the range of conditions that can occur in a person whose mother drank alcohol during pregnancy. What uh, causes FASD? Uh, the answer is alcohol exposure during pregnancy. It's really pretty simple. But where we get into problems is people start arguing, well, how much alcohol is too much? Uh, and the answer we have to give is any amount of alcohol does have an impact on the developing fetus. Fetal alcohol spectrum disorders is all of the things that happen to your central nervous system, mostly your brain, because mom drinks during pregnancy. So reasoning, memory, judgment, coordination, emotional liability. I think our concerns about long-term impairment in, um, beyond the first five years of life are really about uh, functioning in society and uh, what is uh, referred to commonly as executive function, our ability to manage our calendars, keep appointments, manage our daily activities of life. Fetal alcohol uh, spectrum disorder is not curable. It's lifelong, you always will have this brain damage, but it can be managed. Identification is the most effective intervention because that person's world changes. The person doesn't change, but their world does. It's important to get the right diagnosis so that you can get the right services and the right supports. Um, if you don't have a diagnosis that includes all the different nuances that can come with FASD, you may just be addressing a part of the expression of FASD. You may just be getting speech therapy uh, when in fact they need a lot of other things. There are three main domains of behavior that affect all children under the FASD umbrella. Uh, the first is neurocognitive, that is uh, the way the children think. They have difficulty understanding cause and consequence. Uh, they have difficulty thinking through a task, uh, understanding the consequences of behavior. The second domain is self-regulation the ability to regulate their behaviors, their emotions, and this is where the label of ADD, ADHD often comes from. And then the third domain, uh, which is pretty specific to children with alcohol exposure, uh, is uh, adaptive functioning. That is the ability to take information they know and apply it to daily living skills. When babies are born exposed prenatally to a substance, at birth they might um, have hyper excitable or irritable behaviors that would prohibit them from growing normally. Now as the children get older, let's say into the preschool years, you start seeing a lot of these difficulties express themselves as short attention span, high level of activity. Uh, moving on into the school years, the children have difficulty educationally, staying focused, completing tasks, understanding behaviorally the consequences of their behavior, and the ability to plan and complete a task. We did a study that we published just a couple of years ago now that showed 86% of children and teens with FASD are misdiagnosed, but the, the characteristics of FASD are easily mistaken for other problems unless you look closely at the child and the child has a full evaluation that can address the question of how is the brain working. Once people who work in systems of help understand a little bit about fetal alcohol, enough to get them curious for more training or to read up, then they will be better able to actually help the families and individuals who have this condition. If you recognize the child early on, the child can get into appropriate early intervention services that include occupational therapy, attachment therapy, sensory integration therapy. Those are all very helpful. Now, as the child gets older, we focus on helping the child with self-regulation. We educate parents about uh, fetal alcohol spectrum disorders and the kinds of things they can do at home. Over the lifetime, it's, there's gonna be a lot of challenges for you and your child, but to demand the most for them, the best for them, and to, to keep fighting for them, uh, keep being that external brain, keep being the advocate that battles through all these systems of care and demanding supports for your, for your loved one. FASD NorCal 
is a small group of professionals and parents. We are an information hub and we're working also on legislation. The mission is to raise our community's competence with recognizing, identifying, serving, and preventing fetal alcohol damage. We are advocates, we do trainings, we consult, we do a support group. The mission of the, of the support group is really to um, help parents to cope with, with their children, to have them trade information, and they finally find a place where they can talk about it and people understand. This is a safe place where they can really be heard. My hopes and dreams really are that everybody who has fetal alcohol damage gets identified early enough and the family supported early enough so that the shame and blame over behavior and learning don't happen, but instead a path to happy, successful, productive people with understanding. That's my hope. For more information on FASD and the resources available to support and serve families, go to www.first5kids.org and www.fasdnorcal.org.